I had a really bad car accident in 2011 and that I had major, major issues. Uh, I had a crushed pelvis and a crushed knee and oh gosh, <laughs> my body was torn up from that accident pretty bad. I rehabilitated myself the, the best that I could. Um, I actually did CrossFit to rehabilitate my knee. And just at the time I get myself rehabilitated, I get another crash. Uh, this time somebody went through a red light. The other one I got broadsided because somebody went through a stop sign. And this time um, I had a severe, severe head injury. I lost my smell and taste and a lot of balance issues. And that poor right knee hit the dashboard. And I was told I had quite a bit of arthritis in there. Um, at one point, some degeneration. And uh, I just always felt like I had a, like a chronic um, stiffness, which, you know, I'm pretty sure was arthritic because uh, that's what happens when you get, <laughs> when that, when that, when that knee has been hit one, one too many times. Uh, and then, you know, I've continued to work as a massage therapist, but it's not been an easy thing for the last three years with all the complications, a lot of back issues, not as much um, from this per glass accident because I was pretty fit, been doing CrossFit. And I think that spared my back in that uh, crash, but I really had a severe head injury. So uh, a lot of um, missing pieces like memory. Uh, and uh, I, I mean, I, I, I have no arthritis in my hands and I've uh, done a pretty good job in keeping myself as healthy as I possibly can. And over this whole time period. And then I had a really weird thing happen. I woke up one morning it was in September. It was just like maybe a week or two. Juliana had just uh, gotten um, got into the business herself, and I had made an appointment to go see her. Yeah. And she's a colonic therapist. I don't know how many people in the room who know who Juliana is. And I'd already made that appointment with her, and she had told me that she had gotten into this patch business, and I thought, uh because I actually had two people come to me over the summer and I was already introduced to it, but I wasn't ready. I had a lot of things going on. And the last thing I needed was to have, uh, you know, I just didn't want to need anything more on my plate. Right. And so, but when Juliana came, came at me, well, it just happens. It was on a Friday. I woke up and I couldn't turn my head from right to left. And I never had that. I've been doing massage for 20, oh, this will be going on 24 years for me. And even with all my, all the crashes I've been in, I could still turn my head from right to left and I couldn't lift my arm. I had frozen shoulder. I'm like, where did this come from? Because yeah. I hadn't had a really busy week and I was in agony. So I literally spent the whole weekend. I went and saw my chiropractor and I felt better. And then an hour later, I was in horrible, horrible pain again. And then I saw a massage therapist and he got me at I me. Mean, he did mild fascia release on me. And I, you know, I felt better. And about an hour later, I was just in horrible, excruciating pain. And Sunday, Julian, when I talked to Juliana and I said, I don't even know if I'm going to be able to come and see you on Tuesday. I'm just letting you know I'm in terrible, terrible pain. And she says, oh, let me bring patches to you. <laughs> Yeah. So she brought me four, only four patches. And so she brought them, uh, it was on a Sunday and it was already late in the day and she told me not to use them at night. So I thought, well, gee, I gotta have to wait in the morning. And so I had another really crummy night. I really didn't sleep because I actually had taken a muscle relaxer because the pain was so bad. And I don't take drugs. I just, this, is, this was just, out of desperation. So I waited because I didn't want to have anything interfering with taking the patch. And I put the patch on on a Monday morning uh, at about eight o'clock in the morning. I actually had canceled my day because I didn't think I would be able to work. Right. Uh, by four, about four hours later, the pain was about 50% gone. And suddenly I kind of just made a try to bring my arm up and suddenly my shoulder just released. 
Yeah. And it's like, wow, what the heck? What is huh? in this? Right. <laughs> and it was like, and that was, I had range of motion. And uh, one of my clients called me and said, hey, is there any way I can get in? And I was able to work on that person. And wow. I actually had an appointment to go see another chiropractor that I work with. And I made an appointment to go see him that late afternoon. And by the time I got there, I was completely out of pain. And I told him about it. I'm like, this is crazy. And then he tried, he said, there's really nothing to adjust. You, you feel totally, what, what is this that you're doing? Oh, and incredible. I told them. And then my knee, now my oh. knee, every time I drive, it felt like I had a tight band around my knee. And it was interesting because it was like, it wasn't, I'm very in tune with my body. So it wasn't, I didn't feel the, that pressure that I normally get in my knee. And then I was all excited. I couldn't wait till Tuesday to see Juliana. And then to, and the other thing was just being really tired all the time, like just exhausted. Yeah. And so Tuesday I got up earlier than I normally wake up and bounced out of bed, which does not something that I do. And then, um, and then I, I had a couple of appointments in the morning and then when I saw Juliana and then that's when you and I were introduced. Yep. And uh, by day four, I was waking up at 5 a.m. in the morning. And my husband was saying, who took my wife? There it is. <laughs> because for me to even crawl out of bed by eight was just, I have never felt, I haven't felt that much energy in such a long time. And then over the weekend, so I had a really bad fall over the weekend. Okay. It's almost, emba almost embarrassing, but I, uh, I went to go sit on a bench and I missed the bench <laughs> and I landed on my tailbone and I fell backwards and I slammed my head into a concrete ledge. Okay. So let's pause for a minute. Okay. So we already know that you had a head injury. We already know. I think you told me today, was it L4 and L5 that's in really bad shape? Yeah, I wasn't, I wasn't born with an L5, so, okay, so I now have an L5. L5. Okay, so the last, A lot thing of back need, pain. the last thing you need is to fall on your pelvis and hit your head. Yes. So that the last two things that you need. Okay, so then what happened? So then I landed up going to, um, I, I went over to Juliana's to go get more patches because I had ordered patches, but I didn't know when they were coming in. And she said, go home and put a patch on. <laughs> Didn't matter what time it was. I put the patch on. I had an egg on my head. Like it was a very large egg. I had nausea. I had some blurry vision. All the symptoms of, of a concussion. Last yeah. thing I needed. Right. And so um, I put the patch on and the headache went away. The nausea went away. Didn't have any more blurry vision. And my head was pretty darn sore. And I put some ice on it. And oh, my patches came in and I had bought the ice wave patches, the pain patches. So I put a pain patch. And by the way, I didn't even put it on correctly. Right. And by nightfall, there was no pain. Uh, when I woke up in the morning, the egg on my head was half the size. And by nightfall, it was gone. There was no more large knot on my head, which was mind blowing. And I woke up and I never had any pain in my, my behind or my coccyx tail. Now, Roberta, let's think about it, okay? GHK copper peptides, pluripotent stem cells, over 4,100 genes regulated, up or down, right? You're describing anti-inflammatory, right? Working on the brain, right? For balance and coordination. Yes. You're also talking about energy, which is like endocrine system slash adrenal glands. And did we talk about the fact that you're getting your smell or your taste back? Did you mention that? I think you told no, me. No, I that. haven't gotten there yet. So right. I had I, I was doing, I was seeing Dr. Abrams, who's an osteopath, and he's been doing immune therapy. Okay. And I get my I get my taste back and then it kind of go away again. But I haven't had any more immune therapy since September. And now I'm tasting everything. So there's something definitely happening there. Um, my sleep. Oh, yeah. my gosh. So right. since the accident, 
I hadn't ever slept through the night. I stopped dreaming. And within two weeks, I'm going to say about two weeks, my sleep got so deep and I started dreaming and having incredible vivid dreams yeah. back to dreaming in color again. Now I'm 62. I don't know how many people still dream at, you know, this age, but very excited because I don't have the well, sleep I is incredible. I'm just living the dream. It says right there. <laughs> I'm just living the dream, right? Yeah, the, the sleep has been incredible. I mean, as soon as I hit the pillow, I'm out. And so, and it was weird because for about a week though, and so I'm still hoping that this is going to continue, is that I've had completely horrible ringing in the ears since the accidents. And so, I'm, I, you know, that's my next hope is that the ringing will go away. I, I'm doing the inflammatory, the Aon patches. Uh, you know, I'm, I'm doing a protocol to get rid of that. And it is not near as bad during well, the day. It's I, I don't really notice it. 